Tonight we're having a backyard barbecue at Water Taxi Beach, South Street Seaport. Our Dining and Libation Society event tonight. Where are we? Who's here? What are we eating? Well, we're at the beach. Amazingly, in Manhattan, we've managed to find ourselves a sandy patch, and we're here for a beachside barbecue. It's the middle of summer, and all I want is meat. I want to bring on the meat sweats. That's what I want in the middle of summer. So, Mark, you're the executive chef at Water Taxi Beach, all three of them. How do you select the food? What do you serve? Well, we're very proud to serve locally sourced food products. Our hot dogs are 100% Angus beef hot dogs. They're made for us in the Bronx. Uh, we serve kielbasa at the Governor's Island that's made for us in Brooklyn. Uh, we gra fresh grind our beef daily for our hamburgers. If it's not used that day, it's turned into chili. Uh, here at the seaport, we focus a little bit more on seafood because of the history here at the seaport. So we have a raw bar. We feature uh, clams on the shell, half shell, oysters on the half shell, and, and shrimp. Uh, we offer a happy hour where those are provided for at 80 cents a piece during, from 4 to 6 on Thursdays and Fridays. Uh, Which is a great deal. An absolute great deal. Fabulous deal. Absolutely. And uh, you can also get a beer at half price at that time. Did you come up with these drinks tonight to pair them with the barbecue or you just came up with... The idea behind the drinks is also to complement the food and what we did is, you know, when you're having something rich and something that is grilled, something that is meaty, you want something to cut that, uh, that fatness, that richness and acidity and fruit come into place and again, rum, it's just such a key ingredient. It's nice, it's refreshing, it's not overwhelming. Why does palm beer pair well with barbecue food? Well, palm essentially pairs well with almost any type of food in the in general. It's just a, a very light, easy drinking amber ale, but at the end of the day, it's a very palate cleansing beer, so it kind of leaves the food on a pedestal. You brought your meat across the East River tonight from Fatty Q. Tell me about the restaurant. Well, Fatty Q is a collaboration between uh, what I know about American barbecue technique and the Southeast Asian flavor profile of the Fatty Crew. How many people did you have to feed tonight? It was 100 people. So how many pounds of meat came through here? A lot. They ate very well. There was probably over 200 pounds of raw food was, 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 was cooked for this event. And, and we ran out after an hour and a half. But everybody's happy because I, I know they ate well. How did you get into the pie business? Um, I've been baking forever and last year on kind of a whim I entered a pie contest in Brooklyn. It was the first annual pie bake off in Brooklyn and I won and I started Congratulations. Thinking, oh, thank you. <laughs> and I started thinking, oh this would be fun. I started just selling um, slices of pie out of my mom's shop, uh, Ronnie Sue's chocolates in the Essex market and it just kind of snowballed. I mean it was like it just blew up overnight, and now I make pie. <laughs> That's the end of another delicious evening. As usual at our Dining and Libation Society events, a huge thanks to Fatty Q, Water Taxi Beach, South Street Seaport, Palm Beer, Perrier, First Prize Pies, and Don Q Rum. For more events, log on to timeoutnewyork.com. I'll see you next time.